Good morning, good morning, good morning. What a beautiful morning it is. As you can see, with Mantor here, when it's past, is that way. It's time for a sunrise. My first proper when it's past sunrise in well over a year. And from what I can see so far, I could be by myself. Yes, yes, all the ledges. Oh. Uh, and from what I've just seen, it's beautiful. Good morning, good morning, good morning, and welcome to a beautiful cloud inversion full Winnet's Pass. Yes, first trip out in over a year, and I get a milky, beautiful inversion. Good un. Oh, I don't need to come again for another year. <laughs> Why am I out today? Well, first reason, I needed to get my arse in gear and get out and do this. I haven't done this for too long and it's it was time to sort my doodah out, you know? Not doodah. Me. Mentally. This used to make me happy and I stopped doing it for some reason. I don't mean the COVID stuff kind of put a halt to a lot of that, but it's been a year, really. And I've used every excuse under the sun, I think. So I'm here, I'm out, and I'm loving it. I am happy, I am in my happy place. Anyone that knows me knows that Winnet's Pass is possibly my favorite place. When it's like this, just me, there's a couple of people down there, but just me, any ledge I want, cloud inversion, beautiful sunrise, sound of the morning crows, the odd sheep, doesn't get any better than that. The other reason I'm out is you'll see I have two I don't know whether you can see from over there, but I have two tripods. This one holding the Canon 5D Mark IV, and that one over there holding a Mamiya RB67. The reason they're out is because this is a shiny new tripod, beautifully and thankfully sent to me by Three Legged Thing. This, this is Brian 2. Oh, creative naming. <laughs> I'm merely jesting. As you can see, this is Brian. And let me take the camera off just for a second, drop you down there. So not a huge amount has changed between Brian 1 and Brian 2. It still has the twist locks, but I will talk about those twist locks later because they're quite good. And that's up as Max. The height is still epic. You'd have to be a giant to be able to operate a uh, RB67 up there, but, and it's still just, I mean, if you've not come across bright, yeah, not the right choice of words. If you've not heard of Brian before, then here's a video. This is my previous one when I bought the tripod that you're currently stood on back in 2019 when I had a, a dilemma of finding the right tripod. So yes, not a huge amount has changed. The weight is very similar. The exact weights. Ta-da! There. Um, other features on this one is, obviously it's a travel tripod again, so it does go very, 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 very small. Now, my hands are too cold at the minute and I think it is too cold. So what I'm going to do, I will show you this trick if I can. There we go. So now each leg, 
and my hands are so cold and this is very slippery. Not a design failure at all. But now each leg is a monopod. So it's got the, that's not called one, that's bigger. But yeah, nice little monopod. I like it. So that's that one. And that does it on all three. Slightly different to the Brian one where it was just one of the legs would come apart. Diddly, bear with. There we go, we're back up again. Let's do you up. So I thought I'd show you that in its entirety in that sense. And now let's go and talk about some of the little finesses, the little attentions to detail that so far I like. Stay tuned for another video on that one. So before I decide my next location, I'd also like to explain one of the other reasons I've not been able to get out. This old girl, she's done 333,000 miles, original engine. She's been having a few niggles recently. She's just had a new camshaft and injector seals and basically 1,400 pounds worth of repairs. And she's still just got a couple more niggles to get fixed, which she's going in for Tuesday next week. So hopefully, hopefully get fixed, sorted and running smooth as silk or butter, whatever. And then I can do more road trips. I actually go out and do a few more of these things, but a bit further afield. That's not to say I'm, I've had enough of the Peak District. I think I just need something slightly different occasionally. It's human nature. So that'll do. I'm gonna finish this and we'll go and find another location. Welcome back to Padley Gorge. I thought I'd do my two favourite spots in the Peak District in one day while the weather is so nice and, strangely, peaceful. Very calm and peaceful. So, Brian, let me talk to you about Brian. So let's talk about Brian 2. This is Brian 1, as you can see. Very, very similar. It is the same height. I've just extended it differently, but it's the same tripod. Same three legs. Similar three legs, I should probably say. Um, it's, it's minor features. It's not like this is Brian million times better. It's, it's like an improvement, and it is 
a massive improvement. There's a, just a couple of features that have already impressed me and I've only used this a handful of times. It's so good. So this morning when I was out at Winnet's Pass, I had gloves on. Now I was setting up both tripods. Uh, I had a, who did I have on there? I had the Mamiya RB67 on there and I had a Canon 5D Mark IV on here. Now the two differences, as you can already see, is these beautiful bright orange, hard to miss even in like low light conditions, the twist locks. Now the old one has got rubber on the outside, which is great. And this one's now got rubber and an aluminium sort of mesh pattern, which when wearing gloves, I actually find works better. It really does, even without gloves now, that to me feels so much better than that one. I always find there's been the odd time where I've been wearing gloves and I haven't quite nicked it up quite enough because my glove has kind of rolled, but I, I thought it was doing it up. It's just me, it's a very small feature, but already that to me feels better and it really, you can really tighten it up a lot better. Not that it was wrong on the last one, it's just better, better. So they got the same on the top and there, same, same height as the previous one, or give or take a mil, I don't know. Um, and the other feature that's changed massively, and I absolutely love this one, is the lock on there is now metal, the twist for the pan is now metal, and to tighten up the camera to the back, uh, to the plate is now solid metal. That alone, I would happily buy another head to go on there because I've always struggled with these rubber ones. My rubber one, in one part of it, sort of buckles out a little bit, so you never quite get that full. I can never get it fully tight. So sometimes when I put like my RB, or especially the Pentax 6x7 on here, and I need it up, I will find after a while it has crept so far, touch, surrounded by wood and I can't reach one, but touch wood, this one really, really nicks. Re just get extra grip on that. I really find that is the best feature about two, number two. That head is so much better than that one. So much better. Uh, what are the features? And we have also now got a quarter 20 thread directly on the side. That for me, for doing video work, is brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. I always have a little monitor arm that comes off and I usually have to either stick it on the handle, which is on a camera on there, or use a different tripod. If this is just a static shot, but I need a screen, I can put my arm in there or other things, and it's absolutely brilliant. Uh, the feature I haven't come across yet, or an issue I haven't come across yet, which I do get with Brian, is we all suffer from it occasionally, but you get a bit limp. Uh, now, they do, oh, it's in my, in my jacket pocket, but they do give you this little carabiner, which has a little thing, does it up. It's kind of my bugbear on both of these, or on this tripod so far. It's annoying me. Sometimes it will just go, and you've got to find the thing, tighten it up, and stuff like that. And it just, I've never had it on any other tripod I've used, so I'm hoping this one is going to be slightly better but they still give you the same carabiner, so I'm assuming it must happen occasionally. It's nice to do it as part of maintenance, but that's just from going out to Winnox Pass this morning. A bit annoying. So what do I upgrade? I would upgrade the head if, if I was gonna keep this one, which I am, because it's mine. This has been sent to me by three-legged thing, I must say, and I do have to return it. I like it. I would definitely upgrade the head, and then when it comes to upgrading the whole tripod, I will definitely go with a Brian 2 because of the twist locks. It's really, really good. It's a brilliant upgrade, brilliant upgrade. Not worthy if you've already got one, I would say, but if you were buying your first carbon fibre travel tripod, Punks, the Punks three-legged thing, Punks range, Brian 2, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. That'll do. As always, thank you for watching. I hope this somehow helps you. Do go and give three-legged things a visit and stuff. They haven't paid me for this video, by the way. They have just sent me this as a review. Um, coming soon, there's a bag back there. That's the next review. Toxic bags. Also, teaser. Brilliant! Oh, I've given the end away. You didn't hear that. Okay.
Thank you as always for watching. If this is your first time here, please do click that subscribe button and the little bell icon to be notified as to when I upload a new video. Give it a thumbs up. It really helps the channel and this channel needs all the help it can get. So until next time, do take care.